Hi everyone! It's another day, another share! So today's share is going to be um, about a few things. Um, the first thing I want to share is uh, a couple of videos back I showed off the coffee pot or the coffee chalk uh, collection that was part of the Fat Quarter Club and I said that I was designing a quilt kit and I'd like to inform you that the quilt kit is done. So in here you have everything for the to make the top of the quilt plus the binding and uh, unfortunately the quilt picture I didn't have time to quilt it but that's okay when I get time to quilt it I will replace the picture. But all the fabric is in there. Everything that you would need to make the top. Okay, along with the instructions, okay? So I have those available. And now I want to show you some products that just came in. Along with... Alright, some of these are on already and uploaded. And some of them my husband still has to get to. So, I'm going to start with the products. They're block locks. I've worked very hard to um, convince them to sell to me and I got my first order in and I'm really really pleased. So for half square triangles because that's like a nemesis we there's always always half square triangles. So I brought in a kit of one two three four five six different size rulers and it has a groove in each one it has a groove and it goes from one inch I think it's one inch finish to six inch, inch finish half square triangles so that's finish not um, yeah so th these are available so if you are a half square triangle kind of gal doo -doo -doo, that's what you want. I also brought in some flying geese lock, uh, block locks. I keep saying lock but it's not. It's block locks. <laughs> so um, I brought in the flying geese 3 by 6 I also brought in the flying geese set number 3 which has the 2 by 4 and the 3 by 6 sizes in there so you have some choices of the some of the fine geese and if they sell well I'll be bringing in more sizes okay so those are the flying geese I brought in now the magic mariners compass look at this quilt look at that quilt isn't that amazing so for this quilt you have two sizes you have the 9 inch size and you have the 12 inch size and I brought in the block lock rulers to be able to do the 12 inch size blocks. Okay, so you would need uh, the 2x4, which unfortunately, uh, flying geese, which I brought it in as a kit. So you'd be buying those. Um, there's also the KIS, which is kite in a square. Uh, four inch, right in the square, four inch. You would need to bring in or to get, and the TIS, which is triangle in a square, four inch. So you would need to do this quilt. You would need this set of uh, rulers this set of rulers and this one with the two point the two by four okay and you would get the three by six in there also so that that pattern is just stunning okay so and and, and if you don't want to buy the set and you just want to get the two let me know I'll make an order for them all right 
So the next, the other rulers, are, and I'm going to explain something to you. There's three rulers. There's three template rulers. So you have, you have the triangle ruler. Yeah, you have your triangle ruler. Okay. You also have the two sides to go on. And those you would use to cut your fabric with the rotary cutter. And then once you sew them together, you have the squaring off ruler that has the grooves for the seam allowances to be able to lock and hold and cut around. Super, super easy. And let me tell you something. Once you lock that groove onto the seam, it doesn't move. It's so amazing. So that's the same thing. For this one, the KIS, okay, it tells you you need a five inch strip to do this. You have your kite piece to cut your pieces out. You have the either this side and this side of your kite piece separate. So you have those two rulers plus the squaring up ruler with the physical grooves. So this is a full set. It's not just, the, the, the ruler is not just for squaring up, okay? You, you, you have the rulers to cut your individual pieces out of your fabrics with your rotary cutter. And then once everything's sewn together, you have your ruler that you lock these grooves into the seam allowances, you just lock it in there and you'll be able to square up your, your blocks or your pieces or your units. Super easy. I also brought in the KIS-OP, so it's on point. So the uh, kite in a square, on point. They look, this is a four incher. It looks quite small and it's because they're, they're measuring from this point to this point to be four inches. It's on diagonal. It's on point. So, again, you have your kite piece to cut your fabric. You have the triangle piece for either side of the kite piece to turn it into a square. And you also have the template to square up once you have sewn your units together. And this one is on point. Also, it's the triangle in a square on point. It looks small, but it goes from point to point. And again, you have your, two, your, your ruler for the two side pieces and the triangle <coughs> and your squaring up. So these are sets. They're not just a ruler. It's, it's a set. Now, I also brought in some books that has some beautiful quilts and blocks in them. So this one here. Now I've put them into this bag and I don't know if I can get them out. I've gone and put them in these bags, in these Ziploc bags because I want to make sure that that there, the book is, is kept nice. So these one, this one here has some beautiful quilts, all the instructions, uh, different size blocks and what you would need to use, what kind of, um, what rulers you would need. Everything is listed there. You have some beautiful, and, and you have the instructions on how everything works right in these books. So this is a, the kind of book that will help you get started using this method of the uh, block lock rulers. Um, so there's, and there's lots, there's just lots of beautiful, beautiful quilts in here. Let me just, <laughs> lots of beautiful quilts patterns in each one. This one, um, does it say how many there, patterns there are in here? Uh, no, it doesn't say. I thought it did. Um, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38
19, 20, 20, I think there's 21 patterns or 20, over 20, over 20 patterns, it says right there, over, so there's 21. Also in this book, she does have this pattern, the Magic Mariner's Compass, is it is in the first book, the amazing, yeah, Magic Mariner's Compass, it is in, it is in here. It is in here. But if you only want to try it out, you can just get the pattern. So, and this one, this one has, uh, I think this one uses some of the on point uh, rulers. And I think it's similar. I'm not sure how many patterns there are. But those are the new notions that have just come into the store and I hope that you will go take a look if you want to see more of these videos and some of my tutorial videos subscribe down below and hit the bell so you get notification when there's a new um, video uploaded um, so we'll see you on the next other day another share and have a great day and a happy quilting bye bye